this is Mike from Keysoft Solutions and today we're going to show you how to create a surface model from point data. Our starting point is a site boundary and I want to import data into here so if I go to surface modeling I want to import points I can now browse to the file which has got the point data in it. This is a very simple text file if I open this in Notepad, you'll see it comprises very simply of the Easting or AutoCAD X with a space, the Northing or AutoCAD Y with a space, and then the elevation that relates to that. I want to import that into the drawing, so I just open the file, I apply the changes, will draw into the model for me a three-dimensional point cloud. And if I look at that, there's my point cloud of those from the survey information. Go back to a plan view. This is where the site boundary becomes quite useful because if I, in the absence of a site boundary here, when I create the surface model, it will create surface elements outside the boundary because it will just join points together. I want to constrain that and that's where the site boundary comes in useful. So I want to create a surface model. Again, I go to the surface modeling ribbon, surface models. There isn't a model in this drawing, so I'm going to create a new one. So I go to manage surface models here and I want to create a new surface model. Just call that existing. OK, so that was my new surface model there. Simply close that down. When I create the surface model, I want to select the boundary, which is the red line I've already drawn. I physically want to display the model, and I want to draw these as triangles. Apply this. It will now ask us to select the objects that form the boundary. So I'm just going to pick all those objects there. Just so it doesn't get confused, I'm going to deselect using the shift key, the site boundary. Press return. I now want to select the site boundary, which is the constraining point, and that will go away now and create for me a surface model. I'll close that down. If I go to the Layers dialog box, I can change the colour that it's created on the layer called Triangulated Integrated Network, or TIN. Set the colour of that to be, say, green. And there's our surface model. If I just look at that in a rendered view, you see I've got the surface information there or the surface model there, which can be viewed at any angle.